Hey guys, Justin with Kayak Catfish. Well, I apologize for the road noise. It's kind of loud here where I'm at. Today I'm fishing at the Kingston Steam Plant. And there's two bridges here, the interstate bridges that go by. And it's just a lot of road noise. But I'm sitting out here today, like I said, at the steam plant. And I'm kind of positioned out here on this main channel ledge on the Clinch River. And I'm, I'm hoping I've put myself where these fish are going to make their way up in here. I'm hoping I'm right in that path that they're going to take to move up in here to this shallower water to feed. So I'm positioned at 37 feet here, I'm anchored down, and I'm going to have my bait suspended directly under the kayak. I'm going to have them just two or three feet off the bottom, and uh, we'll put in a few hours out here this afternoon and see if some fish move in here during that time. Now for bait today, these baits were given to me. These were some fresh skipjack, and unfortunately, I, I didn't catch the guy's name. A uh, real nice fella out here uh, met me and, and recognized me, watched the videos, and if he told me his name, I apologize. I've done forgot. But, sir, thank you very much again for the bait. I really appreciate it. But he hooked me up with these skipjack, and so we're going to be using fresh skipjack today. I'll have them cut up in pieces here. I'll put a head on one rod and two body sections on the other two rods. We'll use a three rod setup here today. And hopefully, we'll hook into some fish again. But uh, I can't believe I didn't get that feller's name, or if I did, I have forgotten. I'm, I'm terrible at social stuff. I really am. I have terrible social skills, and I hate that because I am truly appreciative of him giving me them baits. So thank you again, sir. If you're watching this, thank you very much. There's the first bait going down right there. That's just a hunk of skipjack. Got that on a Carolina rig, a 10 aught Mustad Demon Circle hook. So we're just going to drop it down, let it hit bottom there. I'm just going to reel my rod tip down, lift it straight up, set it in rod holders. Now my bait's just sitting there a couple feet off the bottom. We'll get this one here set up. I'm going to have the, the two body sections on this side of the kayak, front and back. And this rear rod over here over my right shoulder will have the headpiece. thankful. I'm thankful that feller give me those baits because I have had a hard time lately getting skipjack. I just can't get on them consistently anywhere. Finding a lot of white bass still, but this time of year the water temp is 57 degrees here today. Um, once we start getting into the colder water, my experience has been I just don't do as good on the white bass. It's more of a warm weather type bait, at least in my experience anyway. Start getting into the cooler months, the skipjack, the shad, the bluegill becomes a better bait this time of year. Not the white bass. There's that. That's the money maker right there. That's the head. Send it down there get it set up, we'll be fishing. Okay. Fish on. Boy, he's taking off now. Look at him go. Oh, he's swimming. I'm gonna spin the back end of the kayak around. He went right toward that other line too. I'm sure he's probably in it. I don't think he did. Somehow he missed it. Nice to be hooked up. I was on my phone. I don't know exactly what time it is right now, but I'd say I've probably been on the water about two hours now. I'm just out here waiting them out. At some point in time, fish are going to move up in here. I don't know when, but at some point they will. I'm going to have my baits here waiting on them when they do. Hope a movement happens while I'm on the water. I'm probably going to fish till. Probably a little after dark today. All right, let's bring him in here and take a look at him. Well, I've waited a while for that one. <laughs> but you can see there, I want you to look at that fish. You can make him see there, I don't know if there's a glare on or not, but there's mud all up and down the sides of him and down this side of him too, all the way back. He's probably been down there kind of buried in that mud. You can see out here, well, I don't know if you can or not, but we got bluebird skies today. We had a front move through yesterday. And so, I know fishing is probably going to be a little bit tough out here today, but 
you know, even with the cold front and all that, they're going to they gonna feed at some point. So you just got to be there waiting on them. This one come out, got him a bite of skipjack. <laughs> Let's let him go. See you, buddy. Hey, gone. Oh, he hit it and just went with it. Oh, man. <laughs> I love it when that happens. That gets you just pumped up. You know, I'm some spin fishing out here. It's 37 feet, but my baits are, you know, 34, 35 feet down. So that's not a lot of line. And so when a fish hits it, man, it just... You just feel it through your whole kayak and then you get your that little tippy feeling. I love that. Oh, you know, this right here might be another fish. Why don't you look at that? Y'all, I think that's a separate fish. I'm gonna set this one back a second and pick up on this one. This is another fish. <laughs> I got a double on, man. I don't know which one's bigger. They both feel pretty dang good. I think this one here in my hand might be bigger. We get in here. What time is it? It's 4.54 p.m. so got about 30 minutes left of daylight. It's getting dark early these days but these fish, the sun's went over the horizon here. These fish have moved up in here. <laughs> Y'all, I did what I said I was going to do. I waited them out. I've been out here with pretty much nothing going on for about two and a half hours. We got them hooked up here. Steam plant here, it ain't. I don't fish here much. Um, no real reason not to fish here. Just, just ain't a place I ever get to very often. I know it's a real popular area. A lot of good bank fishing access here. That road noise makes it hard to do YouTube videos. Goodness, that one just took back off again. I'm gonna get this one up here and get a look at him and then we'll set it down and pick up on this other one here. Oh yeah, that's a flathead right there, guys. That's a pretty nice flathead too. Heck yeah, man. Heck yeah. Alright, let's set him back a second. Hopefully he don't come free while I'm working on this. Look up on this man, that's a nice flathead. I saw that rod bend over at first and I was like, well this fish has probably got it. But when it just sat there, I was like, no, that's another fish on there. I'm wondering if this here in my hand ain't another flathead. See in the boat? No, that's a nice blue right there, guys. That's a nice blue. That blue and then flathead come in here together. Both of them make the body sections. Heck yeah, man. That's a good blue. That's a real good blue. All right. Well, here's the flathead. that buddy <laughs> that's a nice looking thing man he was a lot of fun I said that rod first bent over I thought oh that fish is just wrapped up in it you know nope <laughs> all right well let's let this one go and land the blue what do you think mr. flyhead you want to say bye to the camera you want out of here, why don't you? He gone. All right. Well, here's this one. <laughs> I love it, man. Catching these things, it just never gets old. And there ain't a more fun way to catch them 
than on a suspended bait. When your kayak gets rocked, man, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Oh yeah, here's this one. <laughs> Won't you look at this fish too? I don't know if he's got it on that side or not. This other side over here is just covered in mud. And that's, you know, like I said, where that other fish out of the blue earlier there, they just been down there, just kind of down in that mud on bottom, probably due to this cold front. But some of them here, they get active. They coming up in here to this area to feed. And my baits is right there in their way on their path up through here. That's a nice fish, buddy. Let's hope we get some more like this. Let's get on out of here, buddy. Get on out of here. There he goes. All right, let me get some more baits on there and we'll do it again. Them two both ate the body section, so that's why I'm gonna drop right back down. There's that bait there. Body chunk, we'll drop it down. Put this other one on that front rod. There. Get this one going, y'all. I was worried that today might be a bust out here, you know, with the conditions as such, but it's turned in to be a good day so far. It's all made possible. Cause that fella hooked me up with some bait. And I sure wish I knew his name because I am very thankful to him. There's one of them pieces of skip jacket he gave me. A lot of good people in this world, you know what, they just help you out. I'm kind of a pessimist by nature. I uh, usually expect the worst out of people. But, you know, this YouTube channel I was talking about, there's a lot of good people out there in this world. I've had so many people just, you know, looking to help me and always got nice things to say and whatnot when they meet me out somewhere. It's uh, pretty amazing. But uh, anyway, guys, I'm going to sit here a while longer because the sun's going to go down here, uh, you know, another half hour or so. Uh, but I'm going to stay out probably till 6, 6.30 tonight. Uh, at least that's my plan. Give it a little while after dark. I'll get my light rigged up here in a little bit so we'll be able to get some footage after dark. And we'll see if we don't get a few more. Let's hope some more come along. Fish on. I don't know. He went right back toward my anchor. I hope he don't get on. That fish ate that bait and swam the wrong way. <laughs> I think I'm good though. He didn't get in it. Watch y'all, that sun went down and it got cold. <laughs> Only gonna fish maybe 20, 30 more minutes. And I gotta get out of here, but I was hoping. It's right after dark, you know, there might be some more fish move up in this area. Look at him strip drag again, man. <laughs> I love that. He's just doing what he wants to do. This one ate the skipjack head. And y'all, I know a lot of you ask me all the time how often I switch baits and stuff. I'll be honest with you, that skipjack head that this one ate, it's been on there all afternoon. Dang near about four hours now, so it's been down there soaking the whole time. Goodness, he just keeps pulling. I make a little ground on him, and he strips some more line off. I'm anxious to get this one up here, just take a look at him. I just want to see what he looks like. <laughs> Every time I make some ground on him, he just peels off some more line here. I saw a tail just then. I saw. A tail flash. I don't know what kind of cat he is just yet. Other than the fact he's as strong as the devil. He's got my other line there. He's a blue. That's a blue cat. That's pretty good too, man. Let's see if I can get him back over here in the light. 
There he is. Yeah, buddy, that's a good fish. All right, y'all, it's about time to land this beast. Ooh, let's get a hold of him here. Oh, come on now, buddy. Come here now. <laughs> yes. Well, that's a good fish, y'all. That is a good fish. Let's hold him up here. <laughs> Man, that was fun, y'all. I've been doing a lot of bank fishing here lately, and, and I enjoy that. Bank fishing is a lot of fun, but there ain't nothing, ain't nothing like catching them with a suspended bait, with your line just down right under you. There ain't nothing more fun than that. <laughs> That's a nice fish, man. That's a real nice fish. All right, well. Let's do with this one like we do all the others. Let's let him go. He'll go down there and get even bigger. See you, blue cat. And he gone. Woo! <laughs> That's a good time, man. That's a good time. I was sitting here getting kind of cold, but that fish got me warmed up. I'm gonna drop that bait back down there and see if we can get one more before I leave. Let's see what's going on here. There he goes. There he goes. I knew I felt him getting. Crap. Got my clicker on there. I knew I'd felt one pecking up there. Well, I may have another one on this other line over here. I can't tell if this one's in it or if I've got a second fish on there. Well, I've got another fish on there. I'm doubled up. Let me set that in back. That's a little bit blue there. These fish are getting active right here, right after dark. It's a bad timing for them to turn on right now because <laughs> it's about time for me to leave. Here I have sat out here all afternoon with not much going on and then that's how it goes though. You know, it's just, them fish been down there inactive. And for whatever reason, right now is the time when they just turn on and you start getting fish moving up in here. People will, yeah, you know, they'll people see the steam plant here and they'll think, oh, well, that's where the fish out. Let me just come out here. But the fact is, you could replicate this just about anywhere. I mean, what you see me doing in my videos all the time is what you're seeing right here. It's just I've got a shallow water food source. I've got deeper water for them to retreat to, and I have put my baits right here in the path that they're going to have to take to get from their deep water retreat up here to feed. And you can replicate that anywhere on the river. Any of these creeks, coves, points, humps, whatever, man. You can replicate that exact scenario anywhere you go. Just figure out that path that they're going to take from point A to point B and put your baits right there in the middle of it. And they'll come up here, they're active, they move up to feed, and there's your baits waiting on them. This one here is a little better. That one didn't fight very hard, but he ain't a bad fish. All right, here's this one, man. That fish right there, he did not act as big as he was. I thought it was just another dink I had on there, but that's actually a pretty good sized fish. He just didn't fight hard at all. That one on the front rod that I'm gonna land after this one, he fought harder than this fish. And he's probably, I don't know, a third of the size. <laughs> Let's let him go. Let's get that one out of here. Now let's land this. Is that hook? And there he is, man. I said that one right there fought a lot harder than the other one. He ain't nearly as big. Well, again, I ain't planned on fishing much longer here. But I am going to drop a couple more baits back down there and just see what happens. 
All right, y'all, it's about 7 p.m. right now, and I'm getting ready to get on up out of here because it has gotten cold. My jacket's in the car because I didn't plan on staying out here this late, but the fish kind of turned on right here about dark, and so I tried to stick it out here as long as I could, but I'm cold, so I'm getting on out of here. But listen, I want to give a big shout-out to Drew Turpin. Drew was a fellow who hooked me up with bait earlier, and Drew, I'm sorry if you told me your name earlier today and I didn't remember it there for the first part of this video i am very sorry but drew sent me a message on instagram a little while ago so i got his name now and i want to give him a big shout out so drew turpin thank you very much i have put your bait to good use out here today and had a lot of fun so thank you sir anyway guys i'm gonna get on out of here and go warm up in the car y'all have a good night i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching